Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at creating this sleek and simple looking advertisement poster design into Photoshop. So it's going to be a pretty basic tutorial. So if you are a beginner in Photoshop, then this tutorial can be really helpful to you. So with that said, let's get straight into the tutorial and get started. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to create a new project and keep the width and height to 1000 pixels and hit OK. Then let's just create a background to work on. So I'm going to give it a really nice kind of a black color to it and hit OK and hit Ctrl Delete to apply this on the background. So there we have it. Then I'm going to drop in my PNG image that I got it from the Google. Now I'll put the link in the description so you can download it if you want to cope up with the tutorial. And you can use any kind of product or image that you want to work on or want to create the poster of. So I just like shoes, so I'm going to go with the shoes and, you know, create a poster of it. So let's just keep it like that. And now I'm going to create the shadow of the shoes to give kind of a depth to it. And to create that, I'm going to select my pen tool and make sure the stroke is set to zero and add a fill of black color like so and let's just create a shape of a shadow so i'm going to randomly create uh, something like that and you can obviously follow me up and create the same shape or you can also create this with or a circle as well so something like that and maybe right over there now i'm doing this pretty roughly so yeah that should look good let's just change the color to black and hit ok so now we need to make the shadow uh, kind of a blurry. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to place this where I need it and I'm going to drag this below our shoes. Let's just name this shadow. Maybe a little bit right over there. Yep. Then I'm going to hit and create a layer mask on it and make sure you are set on the black color you can switch between black and white by selecting you know by hitting x on the keyboard you can switch between black and white and what black is going to do is it's going to erase the portion of on the layer which is layer mask and white is going to reveal it so you know it's kind of a good method of erasing and redoing things without destroying the image so let's just select a brush pretty quick and go with something like that and increase the size up that looks pretty good a bit maybe somewhere around there but that looks that looks pretty good to me select the layer of the shadow go to filter blur and gaussian blur and convert this to smart objects hit ok maybe i'll change the radius to around 10 and you can see maybe preview preview it and you can see it looks pretty nice so now our shadow is looking really really nice now you can also stretch it if you want to and adjust it according to your requirements so i'm gonna just make this a little bit somewhere around there looks really nice please this just a bit above and yep that is looking pretty nice i think maybe i'll just stretch the shadow a bit yep yeah that is looking pretty nice So now let's just create a shadow on the shoes as well as a light source is coming from the top. So I'm going to create a little bit of shadow onto the shoes. So I'm going to select my shoe layer and create a new layer on top of that. And let's just name this shoe shadow. And I'm going to right click and create a clipping mask. Then I'm going to select my brush and make sure we have the black color selected. We need to bring down the flow. To around let's say 10 person should be good enough and increase the size of the brush a little bit and let's just do a little bit of touch-ups of shadows on the edge of the shoes like so so you can see it is a very minimal and very little bit but it's gonna create a big difference and give that really nice feeling of depth into it you know move the shadow a bit like so and create a new layer above our shadow layer make that clipping mask as well and let's just name this as the highlight of our shoes so i'm going to name this highlight and then i'm going to select a, 
color from the shoes so somewhere on like that purple one and create a little bit of highlights onto the shoes just a little bit just a little right over there and maybe right over there as well make it a white one give a really nice highlight on the edges like so a little bit right over there now i'm doing this pretty randomly you can take your time to do it and you can see that little highlight create a big difference see the shadows so now we're getting that really nice flavor to our design so let's just change the highlight mode to soft light so it's gonna blend in a bit proper but in this case i'm i'm just gonna keep it on normal and maybe i'll just turn down the opacity a little bit all right so that is looking pretty nice to me then i'm gonna do a little bit of curve adjustment so i'm gonna create an s curve something like that a little bit maybe then i'm gonna switch to red one bring that down a bit then switch to green one bring that down as well maybe right over there and then go to blue one and i'm gonna create a little bit of kind of an something like that bring the highlights a little bit up yep and now it looks pretty nice so you can see now we give that studio feel to the design so it looks pretty nice now you can also create a UN saturation layer if you want to go with and change the color of your shoes to whichever you like. So you can see, you can play around and create some really nice colors. Uh, select your favorite color after all, but I'm just gonna keep it, keep it at purple and delete this one, don't need it. So now let's just create a background for our shoes. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create a new layer, make sure name this as accents and bring this down below our shadow layer and then I'm gonna select a really nice brush so I'm gonna put the link to this brush pack into the description so you can download it for free so I'm gonna select something like this one maybe bring down the some somewhere around there and create pretty random shapes so i'm gonna select the color from the shoes and maybe make it a little bit lighter and pretty randomly i'm just gonna place it oh i need to increase the flow to all the way up to 100 and then i'm just gonna randomly go and place it wherever you like to place it bring down the size a bit yep one there one more right over here and a little bit right over here maybe now it is the abstract so you, you don't need to follow the same exact thing you can of course do some different kind of shapes as well so I'm just gonna switch to another brush and Let's just check this out maybe bring down the size a bit so then I'm gonna go and rotate the brush a little bit so increase the spacing first of all and rotate this somewhere around there just a bit more and I'm just trying to match up with the stroke that we first created a little bit maybe yep and that is looking pretty nice so I'm gonna pretty randomly place some shapes right over there and one more here and something like this so pretty random stuff you know you don't need to be precise you can just do it randomly and you can see this looks really really nice and really cool so you can again play around with the UN saturation to create some really nice colors if you want to
and then you can also place text if you want to like let's just type in air max and i'll just move it right over there maybe i'll just decrease the size a little bit somewhere around there looks good and just place it on the top and this is pretty basic poster designs you know for beginners this this can be really really helpful i hope it will be helpful and yep that is looking pretty nice to me so let's see what we can do more more right over here so maybe i'll just just do a test and select some really different brushes you can play around with different brushes that we have and try to come up with something like that let's just try something like that maybe something around that and pretty randomly i'm just you know doing some experiments you can obviously you know try some different brushes and let's see how it looks and that is looking pretty crazy i think so you can again maybe i'll just change the color and just see how it looks and that looks pretty cool actually but it's not going with the shoes but yeah you can use it if you have something like a you know kind kind of a energy drink or something like that this may look really really good but in our case it's not working out that well but yeah you can try around you can play around with different kind of brushes and come up with some really nice abstract designs for the poster so i hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys